a big warm round. These guys make it out here every year. Peter does this every year out here for you guys. Give it up for Peter Sidhu. What's up, Vancouver? Yeah. I'm back. Now, originally, I was going to bring seven guys. Originally. About three weeks ago, I get a call from one of our friends, Jag. And he's one of our main dancers, and he says, Peter, I have a problem. I said, Jag, what happened? He goes, I sat down with my mom, and... I don't know what happened, but I'm getting engaged in about three weeks. <laughs> and I said, how did this happen? He goes, it's your fault. I said, how is it my fault? He said, ever since you got married, I have no excuse. <laughs> so now he's getting engaged tomorrow. So a round of applause for the people that are getting engaged. <laughs> and getting married. But life after Pangara, as we call it, LAB is very different. You start realizing that after you leave the Pangara scene, how much the scene changes. When you go to a party and then all of a sudden you're dancing and then somebody else starts doing a routine on your song and you're like, what the hell just happened? You were just dancing with a bunch of guys and now you're dancing by yourself because you can't dance with girls at Indian parties. You gotta dance with guys. So to help me out with some of this stuff here, since I don't have my guys, I, I got some guys here. Hey guys, come on up. These guys just performed, right? Round of applause for them. Come on, Vancouver, make some noise. I know you guys had your party in the morning. Okay, okay, hold on one second. First of all, let me start off with this guy here. He came up to me right now, he goes, do you know who I am? I said, I said, I don't know. Do I know who you are? He said, I made a KJ tribute video. I said, holy crap, that was you? He goes, yeah, I'm like, dude, you're like my brother. So I'm gonna use them here. Now this is to show you guys how I feel at Indian parties now, after life after Pangra. Now let's say we're all at a party, right? Without all this stuff. Everybody's dancing. Come on, throw your hands up. Throw your hands up, come on, man. You know what you guys do right now. Hey, guys, all right, let's get some help here, please. Oh, come on, man. Man, I don't know. You got to go. Are you ready? Ready? Okay. Come on, come on. Hip-hop. Hip-hop. Music. Hip-hop. Hip -hop. Hip -hop. Hip -hop. Music, man. Hip-hop. Okay, you see what just happened? I was dancing with these guys. A song came on, and they started doing a routine. <laughs> now, what am I supposed to do? I don't have a routine. Do I? I used to, but I don't anymore. Now I'm the old guy at the party that doesn't know how to dance. When three years ago, I was the cool guy at the party that knew how to dance. Now how old are you guys? 20. 22. 20. 25. <laughs> oh, he's married too. Oh. All right, he's, he's really my friend. Now, now look, when these guys are 20 right now, we... Now, I got a solution. What we're gonna do is called the uncle move. Now, what I want you to do, come on up here, sweetheart. She loves Pangra. What, what's her name? Rosie. Okay, Rosie, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how you can get the upper hand on these young gentlemen that really... Oh, they know how to... This is the guy that came up to me at the hotel. Okay, now when this happens to you, see, they were looking for me answers, and I was like, wait a second, you guys are professionals here. I'm just here hosting. I'm here to have a good time. Okay, so now what I want you to do is go to the DJ before the party. Make friends with the DJ. If you have to, give the DJ some money. <laughs> Trust me, this will help you in the long run. Okay, what you're gonna do is go to the DJ, give them at least a 20, and you're gonna tell them to play this song. I want you to go to number four. Can you go to number four for me, please? Okay. 
Okay, you see that? Now watch this. Play that again, please. Number four. Okay, can you guys do a routine? Dance to this. Cut it. Okay, stop. You see that? They can't do nothing to this song. You see that? Ah. They call this Chalaki. Or you can call it Shatani. Clever or wicked, whichever way you want to look at it. So and this now, now this is gonna be funny because I got some girls and some guys and you guys are gonna be doing what I call the happy uncle. Come on out here guys. Oh you didn't know what you were getting into, did you? Okay, the happy uncle starts off with the traditional biting of the bottom lip. You guys have all seen this. Bite your lips, ladies. Bite your lips. Come on. Okay. Spread your legs. <laughs> Throw your hand up. Come on, get, get over here, get over here. Get over here. See, you guys want to come on stage. You guys all want to be Jazzy B right now. Okay, throw your hands up, go like this. Start the music. Okay, it's just a bounce. That's it. Stop. Now look, they're in the back like, damn. It's about getting on the dance floor and having fun. Tulsa Junction, let me tell you how we really started. This is the true story behind Tulsa Junction. We went to a show in LA, it was a group of friends. We were standing in the back and watching the stage and I swear to God, the first team that came out did a routine and they had Mortal Kombat in there. And they were doing flips on the stage. And we told ourselves, they don't even look like they're having a good time. That's not Pangara. So we went out there for our first show at Bruin, and we got destroyed by your local heroes, uh, Vibe. I've got some ex-Vibe members here. But that really taught us a lesson, that we needed better outfits and we needed to present ourselves better. Because I mean, we came out there with Bunger Juice and we made fools of ourselves. So we went to Detroit and we revamped everything. We had such a good time. We wanted to just make the crowd enjoy what we're doing. And that's what Fungra is all about. So now, I wanna have a round of applause for the ladies. For the fellas. I got one more thing that I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna use the dancers and we're gonna go over some basics behind putting together a good routine. Now let me tell you what's wrong with Fungra nowadays. Can you please put on track number two? And I was just in India and this was the number one song at every party I went to. That's a lie. <laughs> Every party I've gone to, that is not how they dance to this song. Okay, hit play. You guys don't know. This is what they do in India. Ready? Let's just do this. Do this. Stop. I don't even know what he's saying, and I speak English. I really don't get it. What happened to the classics? Can we please go to number six?